Hello, beautiful souls. All right, I'm just gonna wait a few minutes here and see if some people are gonna jump on with us. My name is Leah Guzman. I'm a board certified art therapist and um, professional artist. And I'm super happy to be here today to use art to be in the moment. All right, I see Rachel, hello. I'm gonna wave at you. All right, super happy to come together, to be here now, to be in the moment. It's a beautiful, beautiful moment. Yes, it is. How you doing today? How you feeling? How you doing today, Rachel? You feeling good? I'd love to know. All right, so we're gonna get together. What we're gonna be doing today is um, a little warm up to get you into the moment with art. We're gonna do a little breathing using art. Um, so I recommend if you have some brushes, some water, uh, watercolor is great, acrylic paint is great, whatever you have. Um, I'd like to use a variety of materials. I have my chalk pastels. I have, um, what else do I have? I have my watercolors and I have a magazine. Actually, I have a couple magazines. So if you have a, hi Diane, if you happen to have a magazine, um, doesn't have to be anything in particular, just one magazine is totally fine. Scissors, if you want scissors, you don't even need glue, but if you have glue, that's great. Um, if you have acrylic paint, acrylic paint works as glue, so that works for you. All right. So right behind me, I have a big, large piece of paper, which I'm going to paint on to, to start with. Um, hey, Marsha. And you can use a large piece of paper like this, or you're welcome to just grab your sketchbook or even like a copy paper. It doesn't have to be anything beautiful. We're not here to make anything beautiful um, today, but just to make something for feeling and expression to be in the moment, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just grab my watercolors right here. And I got my, my water. I'm just gonna grab a brush really, really quick. A couple brushes, okay. So the exercise that we're about ready to do is um, a breathing with breath. All right, so I'm just gonna be cognizant of my time because I can talk a lot. So I wanna just be able to jump into the art. So you can grab um, some paint, doesn't matter what it is. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and wet our brushes. Just pick any color, doesn't matter, anything that's resonating with you at the moment. And we're gonna just take a dig deep breath in. And then as you exhale, you exhale with the watercolor. So. Again, take a deep breath in. And exhale. I can feel a difference between my first breath and my second breath breathing out so you're breathing out with the line okay so go ahead and try it again we want to calm down the breath this time we're going to hold it we're going to take a deep breath in a four one two three four hold four four three two one and then exhale six one two three four five six let's do another breath Breathe in, hold, and then release. Let's do it one more time. Breathe in, hold, and release. Awesome. That's one technique that you can do to help ground yourself by connecting with your breath before you start a 
painting, okay, or start the drawing. You're just connecting with the material, okay? So that's what we're gonna start with. The next thing is, I wanna check in on how you're feeling. So Rachel said she's feeling okay. Diane, how are you feeling? March is on here, how are you feeling? I know there's someone else here too, and just kinda wanna check in with you. If you'd like to respond here, I'd love to know how you're feeling because this is kind of like an interactive and it makes it so much more fun when it's interactive. So I want you to identify how you're feeling. So sometimes people might say, okay, well, what is okay? What does that translate into? A lot of times people say, well, oh, I'm fine. But what is fine really? Okay, so think about other words that could expand that feeling so are you well are you kind of grumpy kind of feeling off are you feeling anxious um, are you frustrated uh, annoyed um, maybe you're feeling okay as being well like you feel content you feel satisfied you feel grateful Michelle says she's feeling a little anxious okay thank you thank you for sharing how you're feeling so what i want you to do is just be in this moment with that feeling there's no right or wrong with your feelings they're going to move they're going to um you don't want them to get stuck inside you so we want these feelings to move Camille says i'm feeling pretty anxious um rachel says she's feeling tired frustrated but manageable okay all right so what i want you to do now is go ahead and you can either use the same piece of paper or we could start a fresh one. Um, I'm feeling quick, fast movement, okay? And your breath might show up in quick, fast movement, right? So what I want you to do is take that feeling, however you're feeling at this moment. I'm gonna just start with a fresh sheet because I'm feeling a fresh sheet. But if you wanna use the same sheet, it's totally fine. We're just gonna build onto it. I want you to go ahead and write that feeling however it is that you're feeling at this moment on your paper. So if you're feeling anxious, you're feeling tired, you're frustrated, um, whatever it is feeling, thank you for joining us, Camelia. However you're feeling, go ahead and write it on your paper. And you have more than one feeling, that's totally, totally fine. So however you're feeling at the moment, just write it on the paper, okay? Now I want you to pick a color to match that feeling, okay? So what does anxious look like for you, Camelia? What does anxious look like for you, Michelle? Match that feeling with a color, okay? And go ahead and put that on there, on your paper. Hi, Jen, thanks for joining us. Okay, so Michelle picked for her anxious feelings, she picked the color brown, okay? Um, I picked three feelings myself and I chose three colors to match that. So go ahead and pick the feeling, write the word, put it on your paper just to get it out. Um, Camila says her anxiety feels red, very much like the root chakra. So is Michelle's brown, that grounded, that root. So we wanna get you grounded. Right. Hi, Marie. Thanks for watching. So just go ahead and pick your color to match your feeling. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do next is you grab your magazine. You don't need a lot of magazines. I do have like three here, but I'm going to just use one. You just need one magazine and you're going to find that color. Now I picked three different emotions, so I'm going to be looking at three different colors here. You're gonna just pick your magazine and you're just gonna look for that color. So I have yellow on here, okay? Um, I, I found some yellow in my magazine. I'm just gonna rip out the color. I'm not really looking for words. I'm really con connecting with the color of the feeling that I, that I have. So I'm going to, you know, you could get scissors and cut little cute squares, which is totally fine. You're welcome to um, just rip 
Kylie, if you're feeling anxious or angry, you know, ripping things actually is actually really satisfying to me. Um, you're welcome to, to rip the pieces. They don't have to be, you know, anything big. So I got me some yellow. I'm going to put it down here um, to make a little pile. So go ahead and grab, look for the color and match it. Okay, so I have three colors. I'm looking for my green and my blue. So remember, everybody's is gonna look totally, totally different. So if those are for you that are um, joining a little late, you're gonna go ahead and pick the emotion that you're feeling and match it with a color, and you're finding that color in the magazine. And look at, there's that green. So, actually I had a lighter green, but I will use this dark green because it's in front of me. You can do variations of the color, that's always fun. I'm gonna do some green. All right. And then now I'm gonna look for some blue because one of my feelings is matches with the blue. And you know, these are all personal colors for you. Like for someone, anxiety was red for Camila and it was brown for Michelle. So even though they are totally personal colors, they're all, they're all related um, to those chakras as well really interesting we can we can share share on this post later um, what colors we decided to choose so I, I wanted this light blue color my light blue actually matches my hopeful so I'm, I'm hopeful during these times right now so I have my light blue all right so I don't need a lot of things to rip up just a little pile I have my little pile of blue I have my little pile of yellow oh lion yellow and then i have my green right so i can start with that if i need more color to to work with i can always go back and pull out of the magazine right so i'm gonna put this away so the next step i'm actually going to um, kind of switch gears a little bit i'm going to be taking this and i'm going to start collaging on here okay I think I can do it right here. I was gonna actually put it on my table for you to watch, but I think I can just do it right here for you to see because I have um, my stuff right here. So I'm gonna actually use glue to glue these on. If you don't have like a stick glue or a wet glue, um, paint, acrylic paint is actually, um, the molecules actually stick together and it, it turns into to like a glue, like a plastic. So you can just use um, wet paint on, on there if you don't have that. But I got my little glue stick. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna play, sometimes it's good to, well, I can actually go like this. You guys can see like this, right? You can put it down here um, and you're gonna take your colors and you're gonna start creating something. Just kind of play with what you use and you don't have to make, you don't have to turn it into something, but it might. That's what's kind of fun about art, right? There's always some messages. There's always um, some fun uh, that pops out of here, right? Listening to our soul, tapping into the moment. Just going to playfully collage mine. So I just letting you know the feelings that I picked were hope, peace, and satisfaction. That is kind of how I'm feeling at this moment. And remember, feelings change constantly. But I am creating my collage using these colors. So just have fun with it. see what comes up you can hear my my daughter and my husband outside hanging out <laughs> hanging out in the backyard all right so hopefully you guys you guys are collaging seeing what's coming up for you. Mine is kind of looking like 
kind of turning into kind of looks like the world right now if you need more colors just pick that out okay so this is where I'm at right now I will show you okay just a little collage so I think I'm gonna add on to this. This is where it can be fun. This is where you can add more colors and paints and chalks and build it up. So I'm seeing something within this. I see the world right now. I'm seeing like some, since I'm feeling hopeful and I'm feeling peace and I'm feeling satisfied, I see some, some yellow around it. So what do I wanna add on to it? So if you are feeling anxious, you know, talk to your art. Ask that brown, that red colors that you used, um, you know, what, what does this piece need? Have a conversation with your piece. So right now, this is kind of reminding me of the world. And as I'm looking at it, I'm, I'm, I want it to be held. I want it to feel secure and loved, right? So I think I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add this, this expression. So I'm going to use my pencil. So ask your piece, what what do you need? You know, what is what is what does the piece need from me? You know, if you're feeling anxious, ask your art, what do I need to help me? ground down right maybe you need to add that into your piece so that you can feel less anxious right talk to your art see what comes up so I added my hand here just with pencil and you probably can't even see it right now but I always like to mix materials so I'm going to grab um, my beautiful rainbow chalks here and just start adding some colors I'm just going right over my words I'm building up So I actually want to add some paints just to help pop it out more because I'm I like the way the paints feel. I would love to know kind of what's coming up for you too if you want to add. If anything is coming up from your collage, any kind of message or um, if it's calling to you, you're talking to it. I have these little samples from Home Depot that I like to use a lot. Oh, it's this fun orange. Let's get my paintbrush. Okay, 
And then, yeah, just keep going with it. Just keep adding um, layers and see what else what it needs. For me, I want to add like maybe like this atmosphere um, to go with it. Maybe some more radiating yellow. And don't be scared to just build um, upon it. Um, you see spaces you want to fill, fill it. There's no right or wrong here. We really don't want to judge. It's just a process. definitely want to add more of my hope feeling so if there is a feeling that you want to feel say I want more hope um, I have hope being in these times um, that something positive is going to come out of it you can add that as well you can pick a color to, to match that for my hope was blue so I have hope for the earth and I think I'm gonna just just kind of do like a wash of blue for the background says gold curly cues are making me feel much better oh and michelle says she seems to be creating a hand oh we got a match i got two hands you got a hand too awesome yeah yeah just think of something that's going to make you feel more grounded or less frustrated um as you were saying or, or less tired uh, rachel that you were mentioning so michelle you know talk to the hand that you're creating Ooh, that's paint um does it want to hold something? Does it want to give something? Does it want to receive something? Right? So when I was talking to my piece, holding the earth, it wanted to be held. It wanted to be secured and loved. So that's why I added the hands. And we got this pretty blue. This one's called, I love the paint name. Oh, this is called Peaceful Blue. Perfect. Home Depot. <laughs> All right. I like adding water to acrylic, so then it makes it more of like a watercolor. Don't be scared to let the colors touch, right? liking this drippiness so just kind of as you're playing with the materials go ahead and let the materials speak do its thing the the, the drippiness is reminding me of tears right now so so I'm gonna add more tears just adding more water to my paint because there is suffering
So even though we're all going through this tough time together, right? We're all going through this uncertainty and uncomfortableness. There's always hope. I always feel like there's hope, um, that there's healing, that this is time for self-care. This is time to really, really um, go in, you know, and take care of ourselves. And art is a, a beautiful way to do that. I almost think that I want my yellow to pop out more. Um, yellow is my satisfaction color. So, you know, look at your piece and say, okay, what, um, what else, you know, do you need? And what do you want to maybe focus on? Maybe you want to shift that anxiety to feeling more secure. So what does that security look like or that trust look like? How does that surrender, you know, surrendering to this moment? What does that look like? To me, that's the color yellow. So I'm going to bring in yellow because yellow is satisfaction for me. So I'm going to put that in yellow. Get my little. I love peeling paint, like dried paint off these things. It's so much fun. <laughs> Satisfying again, right? Dry paint. All right. So I'm kind of curious, is anything what's coming up for you guys in your art pieces? I would love to know. Anytime you switch colors, make sure that you change your paintbrush, get a fresh new one, or clean it off totally with white. If not, your colors are going to get real muddy. Um, and it's good to be true to your color that you're using, unless you're making up a new color, then you mix it up. Checking the time here. I've been on here 30 minutes, so I should probably start wrapping it up. Um, yeah, if you're watching the replay, you're welcome to say hello. And I would love for you to post your pictures um, in this um, of what you create once you're done. Make sure that you give it a title. I'd love to know the name of what you've created today. I want to know what your feeling was when you started. It might be different now that you've ended, you know? So go ahead and, and journal about that, or journal, but like let us know in the group. Let's share each other's responses. So this is, mine is definitely about the world. Holding it with peace and love. Radiating. I'm gonna bring those arms down a little bit more. Almost done. So you might not have your answer now, but just give it some time to like sit with your, sit with it and talk to it, journal with it and see what comes up. 
I don't feel like I'm done with my piece. I feel like I might be um, just adding more layers to it. But just for time's sake, I think I will we'll wrap it up. Huh. I want to add more glue. <laughs> Once you start, it's very hard to stop. I want to add more blue to this. More water. So Art can definitely bring you into that moment of now, being in the here and now with art, right? You kind of get lost in the process. I think I'm going to stop for now. All right. Michelle said that's true. I think you're saying that's true to being lost in the process. Yeah, because like, once you get into it, it's like hard to stop. Like, like I could just want to just add layers, add layers, add layers. And I might. I probably will. I'll post my, my finished piece as well. I hope you had fun um, and enjoyed this little process of starting off with a little breath exercise and um, jumping into your emotion with collage uh, by picking the color and then seeing what comes out of it, see what um, can transpire. So uh, my feelings were hope, peace, and satisfaction. So hope was um, the color blue, uh, peace was the green, and then the satisfaction um, was the earth, which looks like two hands holding the earth right now. So many blessings to you. I hope you had fun. I hope you en enjoyed your time here um, with me. Thank you so much for showing up. So thank you for showing up for yourself. And yeah, keep on creating. I'd love to see um, what transpires. And the light in me honors the light in you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna send you off. Um, one last thing. I was like picking a little card of intention. I'm just gonna pick us a card for today and then we'll end. So this is what came up. It says find your purpose. Ooh. If you want to find your true purpose in life, know this certain. Your purpose will only be found in service to others and being connected to something far greater than your mind, body, and ego. Ah, how beautiful. And I feel that I am here in service for you today. I feel like I pulled this for myself, but it must be for you guys too. So be in service, um, give yourself and share, um, you know, share your light, share, share your love. Thank you, Wayne Dyer. <laughs> Bye. Much love. Oh, Camila says she's feeling better. Awesome. Much love to you all. Bye, Marsha. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Love you.